Our current immigration system is outdated. The system isn't facilitating our need to attract and retain our best and brightest immigrants, nor does it fill the labor shortages in many of our industries. On one end of the labor spectrum, there's suspicion and resentment of undocumented laborers. And on the other end, many highly skilled foreign workers are often unable to stay here beyond a temporary visa. Eleanor Pelta is immediate past president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Immigration raises wages for native-born and immigrant workers and contributes to sustainable economic growth overall. Apart from the needed skills that immigrant workers contribute to our economy, an increase in immigrant workers equates to an increase in consumers and taxpayers. A recent study shows that immigration reform will add at least $1.5 trillion in GDP to the economy over 10 years, and that means higher wages for both less skilled and high skilled U.S. workers. The U.S. remains the country of choice for many of the world's most talented innovators who have strong educational backgrounds in critical fields, such as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In other cases, many young innovators are willing to risk everything to come here and begin startups in the U.S. According to the current population survey, immigrants are more likely than native workers to choose self-employment and starting their own business. But our immigration system is broken for all kinds of employers and occupations. Most Americans agree that we need a 21st century immigration system that permits us to compete for foreign talent in highly specialized fields. In order to achieve this, we need to expand decades old numerical quotas on the highly skilled and update antiquated employment-based categories to bring in the type of labor we need now and over the next few decades. We need a visa system that adjusts to the labor market the current number of employment visas hasn't been adjusted since 1990. We need Congress to have access to reliable labor market data on a regular basis so that an appropriate number of work visas can be made available. We need updated categories so that immigrants seeking to contribute to our economy have a line to get into. We need a streamlined process for immigrants to go from temporary to permanent resident status. We need an updated employment-based green card program. The current system has been unchanged for more than 20 years and results in backlogs for green cards anywhere from two to upwards of 10 years. We need sensible, effective labor protections for all, whether they are temporary, permanent residents, or U.S. workers, to ensure fair wages and safe and fair working conditions without overburdening the process with bureaucratic delays. Many highly skilled workers graduate from U.S. universities. In recent years, immigrant students have made up 33% of all doctorates and 57% of postdoctorates in U.S. science and engineering programs. However, a decreasing percentage of graduates are able to stay in America because of immigration backlogs. This is making our country less competitive. Both Democrats and Republicans agree on the need for reform. In January, President Obama spoke of brilliant students from all around the world sitting in classrooms at our top universities, earning degrees in the fields of the future. But once they earn that diploma, there's a good chance they'll have to leave our country. And former President Bush declared in December that the U.S. needs comprehensive pro-growth immigration reform. Immigration reform will help the U.S. economy across the board, raising wages and purchasing power and sustaining jobs. We must also find ways to entice and retain innovators and small business founders who want to bring their new ideas here. Our current laws do not accommodate the small foreign investors with the big idea. U.S. venture funders now have to take a pass on exciting new enterprises because the entrepreneur's ability to remain in the U.S. is not secure. Our laws must be changed to give these businesses a chance. Any changes in our immigration programs must be matched with strong economic development programs for native-born workers. Hiring foreign workers shouldn't be our primary solution to filling gaps in the labor market. Our lawmakers should provide ways to educate, train, recruit and relocate, and hire U.S. workers wherever possible. Join the American Immigration Lawyers Association in advocating for smarter immigration policy from Congress. It's time for a change. Find out more at www.ala.org.